hi there this is an business with your friend simeon you're welcome back to my youtube channel let's talk about peak farming again in this video so what are we talking about today we are going to be talking about six weeks to avoid death mortality in your peak farm it could be when you have your baby animals it could be when your animals are pregnant it could be when they are nursing it could be uh, having the growers and the farm so what are the six ways to avoid the six things you have to do in your farm to avoid death mortality things you have to be very very careful about you know the safe prevention is better than cure right if you are new on my youtube channel please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever time i drop something relevant for you my name is Simeon O. James all I deal with is agriculture if you need a very good breed of animal just let me know it could be chicken it could be pig it could be fish it could be rabbit so on and so forth so if you have anything to discuss with me on whatsapp this is the number to call to text especially on whatsapp you can send whatsapp message it is not always that I have the chance to pick calls and I don't want to hand over my line to someone else to be doing that because lots of you want to be talking to me directly some of the questions you got you want them to be treated immediately and from the right person so i can hand over my phone to people and at times i get tired or i'm busy to pick calls so texting me or whatsapp is easier than calling me majority of time and to those who flash my number please i'm not giving my number out for that flashing and flashing and flashing and expecting me to call no i'm not going to do that please so what is the number one thing to take care of i mean the number one thing to be aware of just to avoid death mortality in your farm number first maintain proper hygiene when you have your pig farm you have to maintain proper hygiene how you sweep the compound you clean the animals, wash them. Either you fix a pipe, like a shower for them to bath, or you do like a, a bath for them and put enough water for them to go inside and swim. During that process, they can wash off the body. When your pigs get dirty, when they get dirty, oftentimes they have uh, other bacteria from their poo and also the their ankles should i say their ankles their legs start getting injury it is from that dirty this thing that they always sleep on their poo their dirty poo or the dirty ground they sleep on that is where they get all those issues from and if you do not treat it on time the thing will keep on expanding and expanding until it becomes a problem to your peaks I don't know if you have experienced that before, but I've experienced it often time. It is due to uh, dirty rooms that they sleep in. You know, pigs, they like dirty stuff. So if you keep their room clean, they are going to be clean. But if you don't keep their room clean, they are not going to be clean. And at the end of the day, you are going to be having issue with them. So clean their rooms, clean the passage, and clean everything that has to do with them. That is how you maintain a very good hygiene for your pig so when your pig house are clean and they are living in a, a clean environment they are going to be healthy always and anything sickness will be distanced from your pig number two always check the condition of your feet the feed you are giving to your pig when you get to your farm you have to check what is wrong with the feed how does it taste like? How does it appear? Is it getting spoiled? Is it getting rotty? Is it getting spoiled beyond consumption? You check all those things. Always check your feed. If they are having fungi, I think fungi is like, is like all this uh, white this thing that used to attach to uh, our feet when your feet is turning white, becoming whitish in color. So check it. If the feed is no longer okay, don't give it to your pigs and always taste the feed you are giving to your animal if you cannot taste the feed you are giving to your animal definitely the feed you are giving to your animal is not healthy enough they are living they are breathing the way you are living and breathing so you should be able to taste what you are giving to your animal except 
maybe you are using blood that you as a human being cannot take or maybe you are using something uh, that you really cannot take because it irritates you but if you are giving them feed like uh, all this uh, wheat brown giving them something like a pkc give them something like a uh, gnc uh, soya beans or maybe you pelletize the feed you have to taste it to see the condition of the feed how it tastes like how it looks like is it, is it bitter is it this is it that you have to take note of that before you give it to your pigs personally when i make feed for fish this local pellet feed i do put it in my mouth chew it it's not like i'll digest it but i have to taste what i formulated and what i'm giving to my animal to make sure that they are eating something healthy and something good so please each day each time you get to your farm always check the feed you are giving to your animal to make sure that they are in good condition before you give them when i do give a um, uh brewery waste to uh pigs sometimes ago each morning i go there i take off the cover so that there will be fresh air and wherever place i see that is getting spoiled i always remove it and throw it away so that is how to uh check and also uh, give a very good and healthy feed to your animal number three wash their feeder and their drinker it is part of the hygiene that i talked about there are some people if you go to their farm if you go to their pig farm the bat like I, I call it bats let me just put it that way like the small box they make for feed and for water if you see inside it's going to be greenish in color very very dirty very very dirty in, in such a way that even if you put a uh, clean water the water will get dirty immediately and there are some you are going to be seeing something like algae attached to the side of the bat the box they use for the water or the ones they use for the feeder or if they are giving them like any molded this thing or rubber or any feeder or iron this thing they make for them you will for sure see an algae attached to it or something dark or dirty attached to it all these things are very very harmful to the pigs you have in the farm if you want a profitable business then you have to maintain or do something that will make your business successful if you're having pigs and they are dying due to your carelessness or maybe uh, due to things you are not doing right then you know the business you are doing is not going to be profitable you are losing already so always watch the feeder every day i do this every day when i go to farm i watch the feeder i check the feeder if they are in good condition the this thing, the workers that are working for me i always tell them if i see any dirty this thing before they put feed no take water wash this feeder i want it clean before you put uh feed and if it is um, the one we make for water, I do tell them, flush the old water, use clean water, wash it. All the stones, the small, small stones that are inside, wash it and let it go through the outlet pipe. Then block it back before you refill it. Number four, pay attention to the voice and the activities of your pigs. Ha! This one, a lot of people are spoiled about it. I want to go to farm the rush. Bam! The enter farm. Oh, I need to give them feed. They take feed. Bah. I need to give them water. They carry water. Shh. I need to do this. They do that. And at the end of the day, they lock the gate. Bah. They are going home. Do you take time to pay attention to the voice of the animal you have in the farm? Could be rabbit. Could be chicken. Could be goats. Could be pigs. Could be cow. The way they sound yesterday. Is it the same way they are sounding today? They sounded healthier yesterday. But how are they sounding today? Is it the same way? Pay attention to the voice. The way they cry. The way they do things. Are they really crying? Are they smiling? You know, animals smile when you bring food to them. Like uh, other pigs, they will start wagging tails and you know their voice will change. When they are hungry, you will know. They will be shouting, crying. But when you give them feed, they will become silent and be eating. So, 
pay attention to their voice. There are some people they will go to farm. Their animals will be sleeping on the floor and they will be like, well, maybe it's resting. And they have already concluded. You don't know maybe the animal is going through one sickness or the other, one problem or the other. But you just concluded that the animal is okay. And you left the farm. At the end of the day, when the sickness gets tough on the animal, and it, it gets to the point that you can no longer rescue it, then it becomes a bust for you. From there, you start panicking or mourning for those animals. So, pay attention to the voice of the animal you have in the farm and also to their activity. If they are sleeping the way they are not sleeping before, if they are working in the way they are not working before, if they are playing the way they are not playing before, if they are doing things the way they are not doing before, if they become dull and it's not like that before, pay attention to them and seek medical attention immediately. Number five, do not administer a drugs or a medicine without being recommended by a veterinary doctor. Yes, you have a good idea about pig farming. It's a very good one. You have a good idea about chicken farming. It's a very good one. You have a good idea about uh, fish, about uh, rabbit farming. It's a very good idea. But please, don't administer drugs to your animal without knowing it functioning a lot of us especially i do see this on facebook everybody has now become a veterinary doctor i don't know how much it's going to cost us to call a veterinary doctor i know it is not a good time to be dependent on them always you have to find an idea but idea that you are supposed to use or the idea you are going to put in place to take care of your animal should be gotten from a veterinary doctor not from your own self or from a friend. I have these people that do things ignorantly, especially on Facebook. I mean, so many groups on Facebook, like a livestock group. So somebody will just post, hey, my chicken are doing this, my fish are doing this, my pig are doing this, and somebody will go and use this, go and use that, go and use this. Whereas this same person is a newbie in this business. Someone else, like a business person, like a livestock farmer, told this person that he should go and use or she should go and use the same medicine without knowing what is wrong with the animal. So the same person is still telling you to go and use the same medicine without knowing what is wrong with your animal because she uses that. Maybe it works for her. Now she's telling you, recommending it for you to use it. Maybe it's going to work for you too. So it might not cost you more than 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 10,000 there to call a veterinary doctor and set your animal free than just taking your own action, going to the veterinary store. Hey, give me Capricari. Hey, give me um, Abeno. Hey, give me um, Ellie. Hey, give me this. Give me that. So please, always seek a veterinary recommendation before you administer any drugs to your uh, pig. This drug also have gauge. There are certain level. There are certain is it mainly what they call it? The certain measurements. Yes, let me put it that way. There are certain measurements you are going to give to all these animals. So if you overdose it, you will still end up killing what you are trying to treat. Number six, which is the final one. Always call a veterinary doctor for a checkup. I'm not saying a treatment. I'm not saying for a recommendation. But call a veterinary doctor for a checkup. I know some of us, personally to ourselves, we are spoiled to the point, to an extent that we don't go for checkup. It is when we are feeling something in our body, ah, I'm sick. That is when we find our way to the hospital. It is when we are down, that is when we find our way to your hospital. It is when something becomes somehow tough and hard on us, that is when they rush us to the hospital. So we don't found going to the hospital for checkup. This might not cost us more than 5,000 or less than 5,000 naira, but we don't do it. So always call a veterinary doctor for a checkup. It's not going to cost you much. It is just for the betterment and the upgrowth of your farm. A veterinary doctor you call for a checkup, it could be monthly, it could be twice in a month. Just let the veterinary doctor come, he will examine. There are some certain things you as a livestock farmer might not know 
that the veterinary doctor will know. There are some certain things that you as a livestock farmer might not see that the veterinary doctor will see once they get to your farm. You are not a professional. You are only rearing. You don't know about their health. So a veterinary doctor can come and tell you, oh, this thing is having zoonotic, whatever they call it. Oh, this one's are having kata. Oh, this one's they are having this kind of issue. Oh, this one needed this kind of treatment. Oh, the activity of this one is dull. Oh, this one is not sounding well. It is a veterinary doctor that will give you a proper lead way. Some of us are just rare. We don't know about their health. We don't know about their distance. So when you call a veterinary doctor for a checkup, have an agreement with the veterinary doctor. Please, you are coming to my farm every month. Maybe the beginning of month or ending of month. I'm paying you so so amount of money. So please, come, walk around, check my animal and make sure they are in good health. With all these six tips, with all these six ways, you can raise your pig successfully without having a dealt mortality in the farm. And if I should add a slight distance to it, when you have your uh, pregnant pigs deliver in the farm, you have to uh, take very good care of the pig. Although, see, when it comes to um, pigs giving birth, not all these uh, pigs are, are very good in terms of caring for their piglets. Some sleeps on the baby, some kill them, some do a lot of things. Not all of them have this motherhood mentality. So it is hard to control the death mortality of young pigs in the farm as it has a lot to do with their parent, the mother. But don't keep a piglet, like uh, pigs that just that, that just been delivered with a matured uh, ones. Maybe this mother pigs deliver today and you still have the meat with them. Or you have some set of growers with them. No. At the end of the day, you will get your pigs killed. And make sure you don't keep pigs that do not grow together in one room. All I'm trying to say is maybe you get pigs from room A and you're trying to match them together with the ones that are in room C. They do not grow together. At the end of the day, they may end up fighting, fighting and kill each other. So don't match the ones that are not uniform as well. Maybe smaller pigs to big pigs in the same room. The big one, when it comes to food, majority of time will be beating the smaller one for competing with them over food. So these are the things you have to be aware of and take care of them in the farm before it ends up and something you wouldn't like so that is that about the video my name is simian o james if you like this video please don't forget to like i mean smash the like button and don't forget to share and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching